Welcome back to the Ting Startup Guide for the Samsung Reclaim. In this episode, we'll look at pairing a Bluetooth device with the Reclaim, as well as how to set up an email account. First, we have to turn on Bluetooth on the Reclaim. Open the Home tile and choose Settings. Scroll down to Bluetooth and hit OK to select. The first item in this menu is the option to turn Bluetooth on or off. Set it to On and then Enable. Now to pair with the device, we'll need to head back to the main menu screen. Select Tools. Select Bluetooth and choose the top item to pair with a hands-free accessory. Hit the top left context key to add new. It'll take a minute to search for devices nearby that are also in pairing mode. Put the device you want to pair with into pairing mode. The way to do this will vary from device to device. The manual for your device will outline how to put it into pairing mode. If you can't find the manual, check out headsets.com and do a search for your device. The Jawbone icon listing now appears in the list of available Bluetooth devices. Hit OK to begin the pairing process. Some devices will require a passcode to pair. This information will also be in the user manual or available on headsets.com. With your device paired, you can opt to change the name if you like. Hit the Options Context key, choose Edit Name, and give the device a new name that you'll easily recognize. There are some other Bluetooth connection options that you can try out. For example, we can put the Reclaim into pairing mode and pair with another phone to transfer pictures, contacts, and so on. To explore these options, go into Add New in the Bluetooth menu. You'll only need to complete the initial pairing process once. From then on, you can go to Tools, Bluetooth, Pair, and then choose Connect to manually connect to your device. If you want your phone and headset to automatically connect whenever they're in range, highlight the headset in Trusted Devices, move down to Auto Accept, and choose Yes. Now if we turn the Bluetooth headset off and on again, you'll see it automatically pairs with the phone. The Reclaim has dedicated keyboard buttons for text and for email. The text button will automatically open up the texting screen. Email, as you might expect, will open up the email application. When you first hit the email button, you'll need to go through a setup process. Choose Continue on the welcome screen. Select your email service from the available options. We'll go with a Gmail account, though the setup process will be pretty much the same for any account you add. Enter a username and password. Your username will be your full email address. Hit Continue, and choose Continue again. While email on a feature phone like the Reclaim can't match the experience you'd get on a smartphone, it does work quite well. Notably missing, though, is the push email you'd find on a smartphone. You'll need to manually check your inbox periodically. Be sure to watch the other episodes in this Ting Startup Guide for the Samsung Reclaim. Enjoy your new phone.